Hi everyone, I'm Telly Tapakis. I want to welcome you to another episode of Tasting Tuesday. Today, I have an exciting wine from a region known as Bierzo in northwestern Spain. And we're going to taste a grape variety known as Mencia. Now, Mencia is a local grape variety that originally was believed to be perhaps related to Cabernet Franc. But with some DNA testing, they've realized that it is actually a cross between two indigenous Portuguese varieties. So if you look on the map over here, we're going all the way northwest Spain to this region called Bierzo. Now, while we're on the map, I want to reference two other places. We have Rioja and we have Priorato. And the reason why I want to reference that is because I want to talk a little about the backstory on the Palacios family, family on Alvaro Palacios. Now, Palacios is a famous winemaker now, and he comes from a lineage of uh, high quality production wine in the region of Rioja, the very famous region of Rioja. Now, with that, in the late 90s, um, Alvaro had this vision that he wanted to produce a high quality wine that was going to be superior to anything else in Spain. And during that time period, even maybe even before that, he was delivering um, oak barrels throughout the entire country of Spain. And he got to see the entire landscape, all the different viticultural areas, and he discovered the region of Priorato. And that's what made him famous, where he uh, makes some super high quality uh, wines in, in that particular region. Really, really steep, uh, slaty uh, uh, soil types with uh, maximum sun exposure for concentration of fruit. And then in his journeys throughout the, the uh, countryside of Spain, he also discovered Bierzo. And that's when he teamed up with his nephew, whose name is uh, Ricardo, Ricardo Perez Palacios, and they started a winery um, in Bierzo. Um, a little bit about, about their selection. Now, I want to mention those steep hillsides. So Bierzo, the surrounding area is uh, a wine region. It has lots of beautiful hills, uh, rolling countryside, a lot of clay soil. And then there's also certain parts that has this really slaty, schisty soil. So Palacios, the two of them intentionally picked the steepest vineyards in all of the Bierzo region. Um, and they did this with intentionality. So when you have a really, really steep vineyard, you have, with particular sun exposure, you're going to get uh, a lot of stress on the vine. So you get maximum drainage naturally, and you also get um, the, the, the vines basically fight the soil to stay in the hillside and stay on that steep hillside. And what happens, you get, you get a, a maximum quality of fruit. Uh, uh, maximum concentration and a minimum yield. So you really can produce some amazing high quality grapes with uh, the intense, the intensity that the, the, the vines go through in this growing process. Um, so let's taste it. Mencia from the producer is Descendientes de J. Palacios. They named the winery after um, uh, Alvaro's father, uh, Jose after the father who owned the, the, uh, the winery in, um, in Rioja. Now, we're going to decant this both for color and for aeration. We're dealing with 2018 vintage, uh, great vintage in that region. Um, beautiful dark color. And it's an interesting wine. I tasted it. it, it it's really complex, and it changes um, as you let it breathe. I'm going to pour a little bit more into my glass here. These guys farm all uh, biodynamically as well. Um, and I'm not going to uh, talk too much about that, but just know that, again, if you've seen my videos, we talk about biodynamic viticulture. It's taking organic viticulture to the next level. So no chemicals, no pesticides, but then they incorporate the vineyards uh, into a greater, a greater growing um, ecosystem that includes uh, besides its vines, other, other plant life, other flora. They also uh, introduce livestock into the area and try to have this symbiotic relationship between flora and fauna, vineyard, and the surrounding um, other, other uh, flora that they're, that they're growing there, other fruits and different trees, etc. So let's go ahead and give this a go, and then I'll explain a little bit about where they got the name for this particular wine. When I first popped this bottle, hence the name, one of the references to the name, it's got a really, really rose floral component. You also get like this um, 
chalky sea salt element. You, know, you get like this this uh, saline um, on the palate. It's it's rich, textured. It's not overly big. I mean, you can drink this wine every day, but it's got the complexity of a high end wine. Um, it's got like dark cherry. It's got a little bit of blueberry. It's got, um, I get like a little birchy character and the finish has beautiful acidity. So it makes a great food wine. And the finish is, 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 is long and it's quite delicious. Quickly, I just want to mention they can, so they own about 45 hectares in that region in Bierzo, but they also source about 300 different growers. And they're all these little tiny vineyards that are all, everything's handpicked. And there's a lot of care by each of the individual families that contribute to the grapes for this wine. So they, they look at the wine as like each of those little vineyards and those farmers as a petal on this beautiful rose of a wine that they've created. So absolutely, uh, uh, amazing the, the kind of work that they're doing there. And then as far as uh, food pairings and price, um, is, uh, you can find this wine for under $25. So a, an amazing wine for a great value. Um, local Columbia, South Carolina, I found it at Bottles, but any fine wine shop is going to be familiar with the Palacios family and the wines they make in all three of the regions that I referenced earlier. And delicious food wine. What do I think? I immediately think of, of the grill. So uh, if you're a meat eater, go ahead and grill your burgers for sure. And if you're vegetarian, you know, I would probably not do the like um, the fake plant based ones for this particular wine. I find that it would really go well with like a black bean burger, uh, like from a whole grain black bean burger. Or if you want to do uh, a marinated uh, portobello mushroom with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of spice and then grill that, I think it would be absolutely delicious. So there you have it. Uh, wine, the grape variety Mencia, region Bierzo, Petalos is the name of the wine from Descendientes de J. Palacios. Until next time, cheers, chin chin, sitting on Enjoy the wine.